Buhari faces hard time as his top secret is revealed by Al Haji Ahmed Bakari. Al Haji Ahmed Bakari, a public commentator, has stated that President Mohamed Buhari is responsible for banditry in the country, adding that many Nigerians cannot afford to feed themselves anymore. Following his speech, he mentioned former head of state General Sani Abacha as saying that if any crisis persists in a society for more than 24 hours, the government is involved in the crisis. The public commentator said President Bori's administration is playing politics with people's lives and properties, adding that the government does not have interest in helping common people in the society. Bori is just there lamenting about banditry attacks on innocent people but he is blind to the fact that thousands of people are dying of hunger and starvation. We are very much aware that the government is using the populace to make political business, he said. I bought a tuba of yam for 1,500. Then, how do you expect a common man to provide such an amount of money for God's sake? Bakari also said that he does not blame agitators fighting for their own independence because Nigeria is no longer what it used to be, saying that the founder of Nigeria would not be happy to see the country they left behind. He stated that the present situation the country is passing through is beyond a common man, stressing that the federal government under the leadership of President Mohamed Buhari has been busy talking about banditry activities while the majority of the citizens are suffering in silence. The government is not helping the issue at all. People are suffering at all levels. The situation now is that the rich get richer while the poor get poorer. Bakari lamented. As reported, Al Haji Ahmed Bakari referred the government of President Buhari as an irresponsible government added that most of the youth engaged in banditry activities are the youth that have no means of survival. Of the truth, Bari administration has exposed the youth to criminality, robbery, courtism. So if Bari is sending the military to go after them, it's a waste of time. And a waste of efforts. You see, this administration deserves to be to be talked to, deserves to be lampasted. But we already know what his administration have done, and that is why he is preventing anybody coming outside to expose him. Whenever you come out to expose him, he called the DSS to go get hold of you. Because why? because he doesn't want to be exposed. He knows everything, he knows. But mind you, no matter how you try to hide your sin, you will still be exposed. You will still be exposed. You cannot escape it. Worry is there lamenting of banditry, just with a mercy, but no action. Words of mouth, but no action. Look at what late General uh, Sanya Bacha said that any administration or any government where criminality, robbery, or banditry last for just 24 hours, that the government knows about it and it is true. It is true. Was it not said that Bari knows the way about of the bandits? Gome confessed it now. He confessed it. So, since you know the way about of the bandits, it means that you've been negotiating with them. You've been talking to them. Definitely, you, you know something about the many attacks that we have been experiencing in Nigeria. You see that? So that is the problem. 
that is a problem so if nothing is done very fast based on what Ahmed Lawan have said concerning um, President Mopari, um levity levity over uh, people's life and property I tell you Nigerian will close up look at uh, what uh, uh, one of the top um, personality in Nigeria I just told for it today that's uh, by one um, chief Emeka Ogoku or whatever he called himself he said that Nigeria is crashing he said Nigeria will crash at any time soon so worry must act fast that's what he told him You see that so something need to be done very fast yeah very fast very 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 fast you see the level the level or the sit the, the, the situation the situation of Nigerian presently now is uh, is a situation that demands quick action quick action to any any matter if Bori uh, refuse to pay attention or do as instructed then the next available person who knows he can do it should do it because we cannot allow uh, uh, ourselves to be to, to to go down when we have opportunity to to uh, to rescue ourselves, you can understand. Look at look at the the, the, the ones we call security uh, personnel. The ones we call security security personnel, they cannot even be able to 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 protect ordinary citizens. Ordinary citizens, they can't be able to protect them. When you give them a call, okay, say, okay, um, something is happen, happening somewhere uh, that uh, they should please come for your rescue. They will post you. They will post you. You, you understand? Because even they themselves, they don't, they, 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 they don't trust themselves. They, in fact, they are even afraid. They are even afraid. So the possibility is there, the truth is there, that President Mumubari has a lot to do with the bandits. Do you understand? So if only proper investigation can be carried out on that very matter, on that very issue, you will see that of a truth, hmm? Buhari knows so much about those bandits. Okay, why is it that only when he came into power, that the issue of banditry escalated. Why? Is he not supposed to press down? Is he not? He's supposed to press down. You understand? But instead, it increased. It's just like giving a way for the bandits to come up the more. That is how it, it that's how the whole thing it, it now look like. You understand, and that is why at this very moment, we look Jonathan where he is. We just making mockery of Nigerians, because we are the ones that say we want change, and that change is what we are receiving now. <laughs> so funny, more than funny, more than funny. Well, my fellow Nigerians, my good friends in the house. Um, I invite you at least uh, to come in at least and leave your own opinion. Let's share ideas. Let's sensitize ourselves. You understand? Let's enlighten the people of what is happening of recent. Because at least now, Nigerian is not safe anymore. Okay. If you are new, click on the red subscribe buttons as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos thank you